Hi, welcome to Wheels 24 this morning. Today we're in the beautiful coach. We're with the Mini people with the new and latest model, John Cooper Works. It's the Mini Roadster. Well, this is probably one of the most stunning little sports cars for bright young people, city people, metrosexuals that you can probably find anywhere on the market. You've got a wonderful four-cylinder effectively BMW engine. So we're going to go and see a little more of the Cape. It's a manual convertible. There's no little switches that you can just press like uh, all the easy ways out. Remember, there's 150 kilowatts underneath the bonnet. It's a lot of power for a little car. And if you remember the original Mini, from way back in the, what, 50s, early 60s, you'll see the seats even look like it. They're much, much more comfortable, they're a little uh, wider for larger bums. The ride in the car is quite, quite harsh, but then it's expected to be. It's a performance car. It really is an out-and-out -out little performance car. Right in front of you, you've got the uh, red rev counter, which is going red at about six and a half. Matches nicely with a six-speed gearbox. We've got remote controls on the steering wheel for telephone voice and for cruise control. And behind, of course, for the lights and wipers. It's a pretty comfortable little car. It's a lot of fun to drive. We've kind of jumped down two steps. One more car to go. Right now we've got the Cooper, which once upon a time used to be the hot Mini in the 60s and even the early second generation minis. Not so hot this car. It's ideal if you're not into high performance driving, you just want to cruise the countryside. It's got pretty much the same equipment inside. What is cute though is this little fin here on the station. Pops up at about 80 k it's rather like an Audi TT. This is the last of the three, and such is the middle one as far as power and fittings go, as well as price. It's the uh, Cooper S. It's essentially inside all the same engine. Different states of tune, different state of turbocharging. The interior is, is of, of, of the uh, Cooper S is much the same as the Cooper, but somewhat different to the JCW. It's well equipped. All sorts of connections for your, uh, your iPod, or for your uh, iPhone, for your music center and of course so you can also have the car with what's called mini connected. This particular model is the automatic, it's very easy to use but my personal feeling if you're going to buy a car like this go for a manual, a six speed and thoroughly enjoy its road holding, its road safety, its cute good looks and the sheer fun of having a car that certainly is totally different to anything else on the road.